volunteers and all the elected committee people. Let the congressman of the rest in peace. Just have some order in here. And everybody that uh, is uh, here and volunteering. I want to introduce some of my hey for hundreds. Uh, thank you all for being here, people that have supported me for many, many years. I want to introduce my daughter, Beth, who many of you know, Beth Hafer, who ran two years ago in the 18th Congressional. Uh, she didn't win, but many of you here helped her, uh, and I deeply appreciate it, and so did she. And I want to say uh, something about our dear friends in Washington County who are not here, but we are in solidarity. They are meeting over in Bentleyville, and it's not easy that we decided uh, we would needed to be here and uh, I Washington sent some folks over to uh, Washington County to see them. We are here to make a very important decision. We are here also to honor Congressman Murtha. I like Congressman Murtha. He liked me. And if I have said anything that uh, uh, offended anyone, uh, that was misinterpreted, I deeply apologize. He did a lot of good things for this district. Whoever is elected will continue to do a lot of good things for this district. But we are friends. We are all friends. And I just think that the best way to honor him is to elect someone that can win this election. Ryan, someday you're going to be elected. Not this time, but you're going to be elected. <laughs> he's, a quality, he's a quality candidate, and I've enjoyed uh, going place to place with him. Ed, when I was Auditor General, I believe I brought you a lot of money from the for fire insurance for your volunteer fire. But not enough. <laughs> and Mark, I've enjoyed getting to know you, and, uh, and it's, it's not easy. It's not easy to stand up and say, I'm a candidate. And I will just also say, whatever is thrown at you and whatever is thrown at me, it's going to be thousands of times worse by the Republicans. We need a candidate that can stand up and give good speeches and good advice, but more importantly, we need to give have a candidate that can represent change. Change, Ryan, you are right. Ed, you are right. Change is what is out there. How hostile are your neighbors? How hostile are your friends? They are saying, not only is our system broken, Washington is broken, but all government is broken. You all are in this room to decide an incredibly important decision. The entire nation is watching this race. You all need to decide who can represent and win this seat. Put aside your loyalties and party pressures, and I know there's been a lot, and local politics. And there's been a lot of calls, and we're all working very, very hard. Who you choose must be able to win the special election against Republicans. We are in a change election. Voters want change. They want D.C. cleaned up and working for them. No one has been part of the special interest politics. No one that, that has been a sp part of special interest politics and backroom deals can win. Period. That's the truth.